Now Fulvia is determined to become the woman she feels she's meant to be, even if it means more surgery. Io non mi fermo qua. Voglio andare avanti nella chirurgia estetica, perché questa è imperfezione. Quando avrò raggiunto la perfezione, forse mi fermerò. No, non sono contento del mio corpo perfetto, perché non è perfetto. La mia perfezione è un'altra cosa. Transgender Fulvia Pellegrino has spent 80,000 euros over the last 15 years transforming her body through surgery. That's over $100,000. So there is a lot to unpack here. Fulvia is transgender, and it looks like she's had a lot of plastic surgeries from a nose job, to major lip surgery, to breast implants, to liposuction, and who knows what else. Let's keep watching. Non è una droga la chirurgia estetica, ma è un bisogno mio e, e di altre persone come me. Se, siccome non sono contenta del mio viso e di altre parti del corpo. All right, let's talk about her lips. Now, in order to get lips this large, she must have had a lot of procedures, starting with injections of fat and probably filler into her lips. It does appear that she's had a bullhorn upper lip lift, where skin is removed from the lower part of the nose and the upper part of the lip to lift it up. And she may have also had a mucosal advancement, where the actual mucosa is advanced to cause a lip to stick out more. Honestly, I think that Fulvia has the biggest lips I think I have ever seen. Have you seen any bigger than hers? 56-year-old Fulvia, who was born Fulvio, had wanted to transition for years, but didn't feel able to until she was married and in her 40s. Sì, mi sentivo chiusa nel mio corpo. These are words spoken by a lot of people who are transgender. Now, contrary to popular belief, transitioning is not something that occurs very quickly. This is a process that can often take many years. Now, in addition to hormone therapy, when you look at surgery, it's typically split up into three different kinds. There's facial surgery, and in this situation, it's facial feminization surgery. And that can involve procedures like shaving down the brow, uh, performing surgery on the jaw, as well as other operations on the face, like facelifts and rhinoplasty surgery. Top surgery is plastic surgery of the breasts, where in Fulvia's case, it appears she's had a breast augmentation. And then there is bottom surgery, which is genital surgery. Allora, nel 2000, Ho detto la verità a Marisa eh, sul fatto che av avrei voluto cominciare la transizione, ma non sapevo che era così complicato. Ovviamente Marisa ha, ha avuto un attimo di, di defiance perché ha avuto, beh, insomma, non è facile anche per lei accettare. Perché poi alla fine mi sono detta cosa conta più di tutto, quello che c'è fuori o quello che c'è dentro la persona. Io voglio bene a cosa e volendo bene alla persona, per me no, all'epoca non era cambiato niente. What a wonderful person Marisa is. Now, I've never been in a situation like hers, but I can imagine it would be very difficult to have your husband transition into a woman after you've been married for gosh knows how many years. On top of that, they've stayed partners, so I mean, I really got to hand it to her. She is definitely a class act. Are you like the millions of people who have a bathroom filled with half-empty bottles and tubes of skincare? They may have promised to reduce your wrinkles, lighten your blemishes, and help you feel better about your skin, but none of them actually worked. Well, I've got the answer for you. It's called Yoon Beauty. Yoon Beauty is one of the only skincare lines that combines natural and organic ingredients with the latest and scientifically proven components like vitamin C and retinol. I'm so certain that you'll love Yoon Beauty products that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked. Head to YoonBeauty.com and use the coupon code 20OFF to get $20 off your first order over $99. I'll put a link in the caption below. Once you try Yoon Beauty products, I bet you'll throw away your other skincare products and start loving your skin again. Thank you for putting your trust in me. E che io e Marisa siamo due sorelle e niente più, anche perché Marisa non è lesbica e, e non potrebbe venire a letto con me perché ho due tette, a parte che ho ancora gli attributi maschili, ma 
con la terapia hormonale sono andati in pensione. Not everybody who transitions from male to female undergoes bottom surgery. In fact, the statistics show only about 10% of transgender women undergo this operation. So although she spent over $100,000 on plastic and reconstructive surgery, this does not appear to be one of those operations that she's had, at least not yet. Certo, conta anche l'aspetto fisico. È per questo che non abbiamo più rapporti proprio come marito e moglie, ma siamo come due sorelle, perché comunque non c'è più l'attrazione fisica che poteva esserci tra Marisa e Fulvio, perché adesso è Marisa e Fulvia, però c'è un affetto. Well, if it works for them, that is awesome. I just think that Marisa seems like such a genuine good person, but honestly, I still can't get over Fulvio's lips. Like they're so big. If she loves them, then all the more power to her, but man, they are definitely, definitely large. And while her brothers have been as accepting as Marisa, Fulvia's parents were not supportive. La reazione dei miei genitori quando ho manifestato questo, mia madre si è messa in disparte. Mio padre addirittura ha chiesto a Marisa, la mia, mia moglie, che firmasse anche lei per farmi rinchiare. Oh wow. Well, the suicide attempt rate amongst transgender persons is upwards of 30 to 50 percent according to studies. One fascinating fact though is that there was a recent study that found that the suicide rate dropped by upwards of 45 percent after the transgender person underwent at least one gender-affirming surgery. This is a hugely important statistic when you consider just how many people who have gender dysphoria are dealing with issues like depression and suicidal ideation. And it's one reason why I, as a physician and a plastic surgeon, support this operation for transgender people. Now Fulvia is determined to become the woman she feels she's meant to be, even if it means more surgery. Io non mi fermo qua. Voglio andare avanti nella chirurgia estetica, perché questa è imperfezione. Quando avrò raggiunto la perfezione, forse mi fermo. Well, on a purely plastic surgery level, wanting your body to be quote unquote perfect is a red flag for a patient who may not honestly be the best surgical candidate. If you've watched my videos, you know that plastic surgery does not give perfect results. And if you go into surgery expecting perfect results, you're gonna be disappointed. Overall, I think that Fulvia's journey and her story is a very complicated one, and I wish her the best throughout this journey, and I truly hope that she becomes that person that she was always meant to be. Now, I mentioned earlier in this video that there are different types of gender-affirming surgery, from facial surgery to top surgery to bottom surgery. I recently reacted to a video of a young man who underwent top surgery that truly changed his life. If you'd like a more in-depth look at what happens when a transgender man undergoes top surgery, take a peek at this video right up here. Not only may you find it educational, but you also hopefully will find it really heartwarming and endearing. And remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and only consider actual plastic surgery as a last resort.